corrosion. What is meant by corrosion? To understand this, let us perform an activity. Activity To perform this activity, we require four test tubes, four small iron nails, etc. The chemicals required are anhydrous calcium chloride, oil, boiled water and salt water. Let us begin with the activity. First, let us take four test tubes. Take some boiled water in one test tube and put an oil layer on it. Take some salt water in the second test tube. Let there be only air in the third test tube. In the fourth test tube, take some anhydrous calcium chloride. Now, in each test tube, let us place a small iron nail. Close the fourth test tube with a rubber cork. Keep all the four test tubes unattended for a few days. After a few days, observe the four test tubes. What do you observe? The iron nail in the first and the fourth test tube remained as before, while the nail in the second and the third test tube was rusted. What could be the reason behind this? For the process of rusting, both air and water are necessary. The rusting process takes place rapidly in the presence of salt. In the first test tube, boiled water has no oxygen and oil stops new oxygen from entering. Due to this, the iron nails do not undergo any reaction with the moisture of the air. The result is that the iron nail does not rust. In the fourth test tube, the anhydrous calcium chloride absorbs the moisture present in the air. Due to this, the test tube remains dry and the nail does not get rusted. While in the second and the third test tube, the nails come in contact with air and moisture and become rusted. In our everyday life also, we come across effects of redox reactions. Two-wheelers or four-wheelers look shiny when they are new. But when these vehicles become old, a certain type of reddish-colored solid layer collects on their metallic surface. This layer is called rust. Its chemical formula is Fe2O3H2O. Rusting of iron is an oxidation process. The rust in iron does not form by a simple reaction of oxygen and the surface of iron. This rust is formed by an electrochemical reaction. Here, different parts of the iron surface form the anode and the cathode. In the anode region of the surface of iron, Fe undergoes oxidation to form Fe2 plus ions and in the cathode, oxygen is reduced to form water and further get oxidized to form Fe3 plus ions. These Fe3 plus ions form a reddish colored hydrated oxide. This oxide collects on the surface and is called rust. The various components of the atmosphere cause the oxidation of metals and this results in their damage. This is called corrosion. When iron rusts, a reddish colored layer collects on it. This is corrosion of iron. Corrosion is a very serious problem. Every year a lot of money is wasted to replace rusted articles on a large scale. Corrosion damages automobiles, bridges, iron ladders, ships and iron meshes used in buildings and other articles made of iron. To prevent corrosion, anti-rust solutions can be used. Corrosion can be prevented by applying a layer of oil, paint, a thin layer of zinc or by the process of electroplating. In the same way, 
silver utensils become black while brass vessels become greenish or patinated. If blackened or patinated utensils are rubbed with tamarind or lemon juice, the acid present in them dissolves the basic oxide layer formed and the utensils become clean. They also regain their shine. When oil or ghee react with oxygen, they undergo oxidation. This is called rancidity. Let us learn more about this.